still feel a little bit tight from Thursday's training session. <laughs> I managed to charge it I just use it because it you know it's just soothes those really sore muscles and it just keeps you you know ready for tomorrow's game and I do some of this stretching as well this kind of works um, I use the heavy one because all the lighter ones are a bit useless so just go for the heavy uh, heavy bands elastic bands but mainly just rolling out because yeah it actually works um i was always used to just be um against just cooling down and uh trying to stretch out but the older i get honestly the uh the the more you need to do these these important stuff um but the, when you're young you could just be like oh i'll just sleep and next thing you know lo and behold in the morning you're just all ready to sprint about and nothing really hurts but now i'm getting old it's uh all of this cool downs and stretching just keeps you keeps you tip top shape Right, so I'm going to go to bed because these eye bags are a bit mad and they're not going to just disappear on their own. So, yeah, I need sleep just simply from looking into my eyes and I need it ASAP it's because I'm waking up early, super early, very, very early, early. What is the word? What's the saying? Early bird gets the worm to my football game tomorrow. Please, I'm begging you. How am I begging my own family to come to watch my football game? I've got it on video as proof for your commitment. Please. What do you mean on time I'll wake you up? I am, please. Guys, I have to beg for my family to come watch me play. I actually love Like a sado. It's cold, I get it. Please, Ayan. Okay. Thank you. For the record, I've got it on record. <laughs> so I'm all ready for the match. It's around 10 o'clock right now, and we're playing Lincoln City at home today. So, home pitch is not too far in Rotherham. It takes about 20 minutes. So, happy days. This is the fit, as you can see. This is our sponsor, Mattress Online. And then all cherry red um i've got my grip socks on already because if i forget that i end up just end up stressing out and crying because these are the only socks that actually fit to perfection and you know they don't slip about in your boots as well especially when it's kind of like really awkward to um wear and get blisters all the time so grip socks honestly they're the biggest plug ever um so yeah just all ready to go it's so cold outside so i might just wear this massive jacket on top but it's kind of cropped so then you can see the rotherham uh jumper underneath but it's so comfy honestly it just feels like a massive duvet on you but when it's like two degrees celsius it's freezing actually it's not actually freezing but it feels freezing so yeah this is gonna be what i'll most likely wear if not i'll just chuck it in car so 
happy days happy days actually this is what i'm gonna have some oranges some grapes and just some pastries for breakfast and like a litre of water three hours before kickoff so definitely healthy i don't think you should be having loads of fruit all in one go but i'm not really sure i just feel like it's really light it's easy to easy to eat and i guess it's healthy so a win's a win so top up on these like a little child it's the banana bread from Sorin and the nutra grain kellogg breakfast bars I mean, it's a lot of fibre, but it's really nice, it's really filling, especially when it's a long day on a Sunday. Um, I leave the house at like 11 and then I come home after football at like 5. So it definitely takes up, you know, a big significant chunk of your day. So eating these, uh, you know, just before kickoff and in half time, it definitely makes you filled up. So that's the snacks for breakfast it's a crepe and a fruzelli uh juicy red berry uh, granola bar it's uh it's really light and it actually does keep you filled i'm obsessed with snacks literally all i have is just snacks 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 probably not the healthiest but it keeps you in uh tip-top shape for the game it's what they do just getting a quick lucas aid from the local shops and that's a yeah i'm crossing the road because i was like please 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 i'm running late can you just nip into the store she's coming now bless her with my lucas aid so happy days <laughs> Great start. So we ended up losing which is obviously not ideal it was top of the table clash so now we're sitting i believe second and they've just taken three points off us we do have um the away game at lincoln so obviously we definitely need to win that just to take some points off and just hope for um hope that they lose against uh teams you know below us um but yeah, it was about 90% possession for them. We defended so well for the first half, um, but it was just really tough. And yeah, you know, we obviously have to take the positives, um, but it was just set piece that let us down at the beginning. And yeah, other than that, I think we, it was a, Overall, it was it's a loss, but we just have to take what good came out of that and make sure we beat them on their turf when we play them next. I don't know when, it's probably um, towards the end of the season, but we just have to keep winning and see how they do for all the teams. <laughs> Pack bars curry, king of curry with the mum. Thank you. 